What's good, YouTube? Um, this your girl, Lady. And I wanted to do a video response about Love Don't Change. Um, it's a Rebel Lesbian video. I'm trying to stop saying, um, my little sister pointed out exactly how many times I was saying, um, in my videos. Which I've noticed before myself. And I noticed a lot of other people do that too. But when you do it like like a hundred times within the span of like one video and I'm talking about myself, it's kinda kinda crazy. It's like a a thought finder that um you know, it's that pause. Like we doing some chanting um <laughs> But anyways, she's talking about, um, there it goes again, a reflection, being reflection of someone, of what someone wants instead of being yourself. And I've been there. And I've also been there when it, the real me has came out. And I've tried to play that, I was doing that with my ex, um, uh, with the beard thing who was transitioning into a man or thinking about transitioning she didn't actually do that ever um, while we were together but somebody is throwing a fit and that's what's really throwing me off I forgot what I was even talking about for real A fit like kicking the wall, screaming. Oh my god. Uh, shit. Oh yeah, my ex with the beard. It was about my aggressiveness, and I kind of was trying to hide that about myself about the fact that I was, um, I am aggressive as well as submissive, and I was just trying to. She was used to dating straight women. So, being with me was a lot different than what she would expect. And I've also heard that I'm like, um, I've been told by studs that I'm like a dude on the inside or some, some shit like that. Whatever a dude is supposed to, whatever that's supposed to mean, I don't know. I guess it means like I'm not able to be pushed around, not able to be... I don't know. Like at times I could just be that cold. Cold. I don't know exactly what that means. But anyways, that side of me did eventually come out because she was tripping about me being with my friend. Not even being with my friend. My friend came over. Just so happens to be a guy. And because I'm able to be friends with guys, so I ain't got no problem with dudes. You know, I've been a, I'm a sexual abuse survivor. I have no problems with dudes at all like some of my best friend my best friend was a dude I mean hello but uh there it goes in uh that's it damn it's like if you don't say um you lose all track of what the fuck you was even saying and that's what I'm doing right now by the way rebel I was digging rebel Mona whatever you know who you are. I'm digging the hair. I'm digging the eye makeup. I see you. I see you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what's up. You got a little new look. I've been looking for a new look too. I'm supposed to get my hair braided soon, but it's a way off topic. Anyways, you also talked about getting putting a good foot forward versus compromising yourself. That's what I kind of wanted to bring that up I've found like a happy medium between the two of those since I've broken up with her because I went to putting my foot forward 
the good foot forward and being nice and being, you know, all extra thing. But everybody got an ugly side. Everybody really has that ugly side where they really can't be cold. Um, and I think that's everybody. And you just have to be able to accept that about yourself. The stuff that people aren't going to be turned on by, you know. People aren't always going to be turned on that I can emotionally distance myself from somebody to where whatever they're going through and whatever they're saying and whatever kind of heartbreak and whatever they're feeling, I don't have to be a part of that. But at the same time, I can link up with somebody and I can feel like every emotion that they're going through. But you can't do that to yourself all the time. And I don't do that to myself all the time because then I will just be a hot mess. Like, I would never, I would never be positive at all. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got one of, if you got into one of them negative type relationships and we've all been there. And also you talk about accepting the fact that you're not compatible. That is one of my biggest uh, challenges. Because I have a hard time, I have a hard time, you know, just communicating that to somebody without actually like knowing knowing them um and not being impulsive when getting involved with somebody because that's just that's just led me down a way wrong path um and also dating dating and having a child is and working and going to school is that's a full plate you know what I mean? And I don't think I even have the time to date. So I kind of just put the relationship aspect of my life on the back burner. And, like, there's been, like, I don't even want to, like, pull my own chain on it. But there's just been mad advances on the part of p other people, you know, like, what's up with you? What you doing? It's so funny, when you're not looking for a relationship, that shit flocks to you. And when you are looking and searching for a relationship, and you, you know, you ready for love and all that, and that's an NDI, you know. When you're ready for love, it's nowhere to be found. Nowhere. And when you're not, it's like right here. All the time. Constantly. So, oh yeah, and you were talking about your, the saying from your mom too, but there's also a saying that I'm trying to live by, I'm really trying to live by and I'm trying to um, notice the people that also live by it. Um, you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best, so if you can't accept me that you're not going to be turned on by me all the time. And I, if I can accept that I'm not going to be turned on by you all the time, then we deserve each other. You know? Um, that's just how I look at it. We deserve the best qualities in each other because we can withstand those worst, worst qualities and it doesn't break us down. You know what I mean? So I just really... That really like touched on my life, and I'm kind of in that same situation where oh, I have been there. Um, and I think that it's something that you always go through unless you realize that pattern in your life and cut it off. So great topic. I love the videos. Love the new hairstyle. And I'm glad you didn't take a vacay. Like you said you was, but you're not. Um, so I'm really glad about seeing that. I'm sick of myself saying, oh, god dang. And I did say got, 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 not got, got. Peace out, y'all.